welcome. Uh, in this problem again, I'm given the same angle, so I have this large angle, and I'm provided an angle bisector, which we labeled JL. Now, remember the definition of an angle bisector. An angle bisector is a ray that is going to divide an angle into two congruent angles. So we can say that the measure of KJL is equivalent to the measure of HJL. Right? These two are equal and measured by the angle bisector. Um, so let's go and look at what we have. Well, they're giving us the angle of H, J, K, H to J to K. So they gave us the measure of the large angle, right? The large angle is 7B minus 2, 224. Then they gave us the measure of one of the smaller angles, H, J, L. Now remember, we said that these are equivalent. So if that's 2B, then that has to be 2B. And understanding that this plus this has to equal the measure of the large arc, right? This plus this is equal to the measure of the angle. So I'll, I need to solve for b so I can write 2b plus 2b is equal to 7b minus 24. So now I can combine my like terms on my left side. So I have 4b equals 7b minus 24. Now I'll get the variables to the same side. So I'll subtract a 7b on both sides. And I'm left with a negative 3b equals negative 24. Then to divide out a negative 3, and my final answer is b equals 8. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve using the angle bisector. Thanks.